So, uh, I haven't been to the city store ever since God knows how long, and we have a work experience kid, and I didn't even notice that until like today, and this is like second last day anyway. But I've got Vincent here as well, so he's gonna take care of the store. I'm gonna do a quick high point run to check out, um, to actually have a meeting with the Sydney guys. Then I'm gonna go check out my car, see how my car's going, because it's supposed to be done by the end of this week, but I still can't drive it because it needs to get tuned. And I still don't know where I'm gonna get my car tuned. And I'm hoping to pull out at least 300 kilowatts out of the car, so that should be hella fast. I also need to build a website today. Uh, oh yeah, this is Ryan. That's the work screen skin. Everyone knows Vincent. Vincent, Vincent. Need to build a website today. It actually gets dropped at 6 p.m. I'm still falling really, really behind on a lot of work. Um, and I somehow got to go to high point and finish the website and do a whole bunch of crap that I probably don't know what to do. Anyway, let's see what Philly's doing. She should be at home working. Good evening, everybody. So this morning has been super hectic. I've just been organizing so many things. We've got the cocaine drop in a couple of hours, which is really exciting, but a little bit stressful because that means I'm gonna have so much work to do over the next couple of days, including this weekend and all of that stuff. At the moment, you can always hear the embroidery machine running. It's been so insane lately. Still getting those dog hoodies. And I've just realized I have three company orders that I need to do that Hal got for me, which is insane because there is so many things I need to embroider. And what I worked out, it's gonna be about 40 hours or more, give or take, of embroidery time. So, that is gonna be a crazy week next week. I'm just gonna try smash through all of it. I've given people a one to three week turnaround time, which is pretty much the same as screen printing. And I mean, I'm just doing it by myself, so I think that's a pretty good time limit as well. But I need to go check on the embroidery machine. I'm gonna show you guys. It's one of our little favorite puppies, so let's go. And bam, right here, this is for our little friend Toro. You may or may not remember him in some of our vlogs, but he's like this cute white puppy, so I've decided to make him one. He looks like Biggie, but white. Toro's is now done, which is cute. Still got about five more to do, but right now I need to quickly head off to the town center, so let's hurry off. At the High Point store, look at my crazy uh, jacket. Everyone always wonders what material this is like. This, I don't know, this plastic latex material. I'm wearing the cocaine pants. I love these pants and my Balenciagas. I'm late for this meeting. Well, the person who I'm meeting is late for this meeting. It's like two o'clock and I need to be back at the store at four and it's super annoying. And then I'm gonna go to a workshop as well. So, ugh. we have a problem, guys. Guess what? All right, so after multiple, multiple phone calls with the previous tenants of that place and the next doors and everyone else. So what we did was we called up everyone that's in that building. We sort of sussed out the place and there's a lot of problems uh, like with the landlord. So we're really worried about this place. We're actually looking to find another place either in Newtown or Chippendale or Surrey Hills. Um, oh, we really like... We did like the Parramatta area and now it's just gone all down the drain because of all the negative feedback. There's even like court cases on these landlords for not returning bond or not promising, like a lot of hot air promises, so promises that never actually happen. Oh my God, I'm so worried. Oh, let's go see my car. Oh, I'm so annoyed because that whole Sydney trip seems like it's going down the drain now. That's an expensive trip to go down the drain. Damn, that's a, like a life lesson right there. We rushed, they, well we, I'm gonna say we rushed into this way too fast and now it's backfiring on us. Just got to KTM Motorworks. You guys gotta check out their Facebook page, but look at this crazy ass EK in here. Oh, look at that, all custom. This has a K24 in it, I'm pretty sure. And so sick, I actually won an EK. Philly, but let's go see my car. Nothing's much done to it, all the engine's still out, but I've deleted the ABS, so I don't have that auto braking system anymore. Uh, braided lines are in, so you guys can see that's what I went to purchase and what Philly picked up right there. That's ready to go. The fuel pressure regulator is in, ready to go as well. The motor is pretty much done. The head's on, that's like coming off. Injectors are done. Manifold, uh, intake manifold is done. Pretty much nearly ready to go. My clutch is in. I'm super excited. I really want to get this thing on the road by next week. Oh, so excited. 
Braden line goes all the way from back of the fuel line right there, goes into the E85 sensor right here, and this is gonna be the return fuel line, which is a great spot. I'm really surprised how well he tucked this away, because we freed up so much space underneath here, putting this aftermarket intake in it. Oh, damn, so excited with this. All right, I need to get back to the store. Let's go. Honestly, guys, I'm stressing out right now. It is 5.33 p.m. and I'm still trying to finish off the website, but you guys can see it's a whole different look right now. This is the back end of it. So this isn't live yet, but I've rejigged everything. Look, Instagram feed, what's new. Uh, this is all clickable links, denim jacket. Just everything is ready to go, but I'm really scared that everything isn't ready. So I'm getting Philly. Oh my God, I'm so stressed out. Oh, damn. Quick stop by Coles to get some dinner. I need some salad. This will do. Some green tea. Also got some garlic bread and some lasagna. Orange juice. Finally back home and I am just quickly organizing up the stock that we have because the online drop is in less than one hour. And once that happens, within the next one to two hours, I want to actually start packing orders. So we're going to get the first batch of orders like done and out tomorrow morning. So we're hoping that everything will get to all of you guys within like the next week to two weeks max. So fingers crossed, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I've organized it so far. So I've organized it and we've got all our socks and hats in here. There's honestly not many hats and sock left at all. We've got the air fresheners and stickers. I need to put like the lanyard box right here so that it's easier to pack. In the garage, you guys know you've seen this garage a lot the last couple of days. Everything is all in an L-shape sizes, so I think this is gonna be perfect. But I just have to say, wouldn't a warehouse be way better? Like, we could just stack it, we could load up so much more stock. The only reason why this is here at the moment and it's allowed to be here is because cars how is actually getting fixed. So I guess that's actually a good thing at the moment. <laughs> I know one of you guys requested this asking me what's my favorite shoe currently in the sneaker laundry. Something came in today and it was fire and I had to show you guys. Hold up. Bam! Look at these. These are the baby Milo Babesters. This is insane. This is well worn out. You guys can tell. Look at that. And then look at the bottom. It's super worn. But I have to admit, this is one of my favorite shoes. I've always wanted a pair, not this exact one, but the Bapes in general are my favorite bathing egg shoes. Hey bud, hey, how are you? Good, good, yeah. Oh my God, I'm actually really excited. Philly, her headlights are out and she has HIDs. And now I'm gonna install these. These are the, this is like crazy brand new technology. I've like, I've heard about it, I haven't seen them yet, but look at this, this is a headlight. Like the normal HIDs, you guys, if you know, is it comes with a baluster and all that, but look at this, this is all in built in one thing. And they're just LED lights, so the lifespan of it will be crazy. Wow, I'm very excited. Let's go plug this in, and I'm gonna show you guys how bright Philly's headlights are gonna be. You guys can see, this is Philly's current headlight and this one doesn't work at the moment so i'll change this one so you guys can see straight away what it looks like i'm super excited to see what it looks like actually that was nice and easy it's got to put it back in now and clean everything up this is what philly's old hid unit looks like this traditional baluster the the relay and everything and now it's just changed to this how insane Look at this, that's all it is. I'm gonna pop that there. And look all the unnecessary hardware and wires I don't need anymore. And I just need to put that in. That's freaking amazing. Wow, actually you guys can tell on camera how bright her headlights are now. Like she can just see everything. I can see like way in the distance and you can even see the footpath and everything. That's this insane. is so good. Is that better? You just keep getting more and more blind, to be honest. You keep changing your headlights to make them brighter. I know. You can't see anything. And now, you know what happens? Prior to these new headlights, everyone would high beam me because they think my high beams are on. I can't even imagine what's going to happen to me now. All right, guys, I know I'm probably spamming you, but I just found this new color thread, 
and this is so pretty it's like this in between pink and purple color and i'm so loving it definitely need to add this up on the essential pieces website asap because it's so pretty i'm not sure if you guys have been seeing there's this new dog craze like it's like this meme i don't know what it is they hold up a blanket and they run away from the blanket and the dog gets all confused and stuff we're gonna try it with our babies it's either gonna be really funny or they just pop won't care i'm gonna say big in honey don't care and they're just gonna sit around and be like meh whatever because our dogs well actually biggie's really attached to philly so he might get a bit worried let's see how it goes ready he's not looking he's so smart babe he's not He's so, you're so slow. You're so slow, babe. Why you are you trying? so slow. That's why you run too slow. Honey doesn't even care about me. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Big is not dumb. <laughs> Baby can see you. Oh my god, this fails. Come on, you have a go now then. Honey? Uh, starting to pack all the orders already so they can go out but why strategically why do we always do things on Thursdays babe or Fridays so that we have the weekend to pack orders as well so people and don't get grumpy yeah. anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did always don't forget to go ham on the thumbs up button any questions you guys want to ask below I know you guys are missing that answer question segment so any answers or questions right questions you guys want to ask Put them in the comments below, we'll answer them in between all of our vlogs if they're really super interesting and seem like everyone wants to know. Anyway guys, I'll speak to you guys on tomorrow's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, always ham on that thumbs up. Hit that bell button because it notifies you every single time we release brand new videos. And I know some of you guys are actually saying that you're not getting notified. Click it and click it again and keep clicking it because I have no idea what's wrong with it. Alright, thanks for everyone who ordered all your goods. Obviously we're working on it right now to bring it all out. Peace.